I've been getting a few messages recently about a brand new golf ball that's come to the market at Lidl. So uh, let's do it and let's do it now. Sense were close, but um, not close enough. Mm. Well, that's nothing shy of a disaster. We'll have to go and find another little thing. Ah. Right, second little of the day. Let's hope these have them. This looks like a bigger one, so it's every chance. Mask on. What do we have on here? Uh, nope. No, mm. I've got a feeling I might have missed them. Oh, I can do tennis balls. I can do basketballs. Can't do you golf balls. Mm. Well, nothing shy of devastated. Two down, not one, but we did get some chopping. So, yeah. Now, the only thing I can think of is that these golf balls are that good. They've sold out everywhere. We're going to give it another go. There's another one about 15 miles away, so we'll try that. It was a little bit. Oh. We sad individual. It was a little bit uncomfortable at one point as well. I was round the golf stuff. There were tee pegs, there were gloves, there were umbrellas, and there were a few golfers round me, like you know, with like like I have golf caps on, and it was a bit like we all knew what we were there for. We all knew what we were looking for, but it wasn't quite there. If I can't get them, I'm going to be devastated. But I'm just going to go and play golf because. I've tried my best. I really have. Right. You were doing in your early 20s, but the fact that he had the bravery, anyone who knows it, a little bit about Marcus Rashford. Right. This is the third little we've been to. I do know where another one is, slightly closer to home. I wish I'd have gone to that one. But I've got a feeling that there aren't many golf courses around this area, so we might be up for it. But one thing it does say is that actually golf's obviously on the rise because you can't even buy golf balls when they're on sale in the middle of Little. So we'll take the positives. Why do I feel like this isn't going to end well? I might have to get some bees. Well, I think sometimes I accept it's not your day. I've just tried looking for them online as well, and Google won't even. Google's asking me what a car looks like, so. I know what a bus looks like, I know what a fire hydrant looks like, I know what a car looks like, but my phone won't even now let me Google search little golf balls. I need to go and play golf. Right, so one hour 20 in, 41 miles done, an average speed of 32 miles per hour and we still don't have any of the golf balls. This is the fourth little we've been to now, and it's the last little we're going to. Either way, I'm playing golf this afternoon. I've actually looked online, and it says that they're there. It says they're £12 per pack. I don't know what exactly that means, but it says they're there. I've tried to even ring them to check to say we're coming all the way here, but you can't ring, apparently. You can't buy them online. You can see them online. You can see the price of them online, but you can't buy them online. So maybe that's how they keep the costs down, I think. And this is the smallest one yet as well. Brilliant. Please, please, please. See, that's the right brand. That's the make. I just don't want a poncho, not golf balls. Um, guys, you won't believe it, um, but we still haven't got it. We've got tees, we've got gloves. Where are the balls? Frollies. What an absolute nightmare. Oh. So that's it. We're not getting any. I'm going to look on the internet, see if I can source them from somewhere for you. Um, but this video isn't over. I promised you, I think in the title, a cheap golf ball test, sort of. I think these could be the rarest golf balls in the world. For a good reason or a bad reason, but I do know there's a Sports Direct just down the road and they have to have some decent cheap golf balls. Let's go and get some. So aside from my pure devastation today, at least we've got a good parking space for here. We have to find some balls here, we have to. I think what we're gonna do is buy the cheapest ones. Now you would think 
you would think these are the cheapest ones. Um, £12. Oh, £23 for them. £23, £19.99, good value. Callaway balls, CX, I've never heard of those. £13. Tell you what, for a quid, I think we might go with those actually. Oh, the video's rescued, kind of. Let's go play golf. And I hear what you're saying, what else can we get while we're here? Um, apparently golf's taking a bit of a boom which is good. Um, guys, comment below, should we get a full set of these, uh, age nine to 11, so it should be about my height as well. I think that's a lot in it, let's, um, let's go. And we are finally on the golf course. When Laura said she was working away for a few days and to make sure I go and did the food shop, I didn't think I'd be visiting five littles in one day and ended up in sports soccer for some uh, cheap Callaway golf balls, but there we go. So Callaway CXR Power, low compression, powerful distance so second hole silkstone golf club 327 yards let's see how powerful and distant they are got a bit dry has not it first impressions looking at them the cover feels a little bit plasticky to be fair we'll go into the tech that's in these golf balls remember 13 pound the same price as some slazingers so even just for a bit of brand appeal you're uh, you're already winning there, really, aren't you? That's online if it stays left enough. Not bad. Not the best strike in the world, but she's in play. Let's tidy all this mess up. And also, I'd like to give a huge thanks to everyone in the Golf Mates Facebook forum because that's where I first kind of saw about these golf balls. And apparently they're just not in stock in my area. Wonderful, but a lot of the guys in the Golf Mates Forum have offered to send some through so I can test them and review them for you guys at home. So hopefully we'll be seeing that very, very soon. But today, the Callaway CRX Power. A fast core, hex aerodynamics, and an ionomer cover. Ionomer. So it's not an elastoma cover, which is why it looks a little bit plasticky and feels a little bit cheaper. But I'm 13 pound, do you really care? So we've just missed the fairway here on this second hole and we look to have around 50 yards in, which isn't too bad considering it is quite wet underfoot. Now the thing that you do get with an ionomer cover as opposed to an elastoma cover is a much higher launch straight off the bat. And that's what I seemed to get with that tee shot. It wasn't really penetrating, it was just up. But again, for that price, does it really matter too much? Let's get a proper distance. Let's give them a proper test. Because if I birdie every hole, then they're the best ball in the world, right? 56 yards. So the drive was about my distance, wasn't it? About. Oh, go on. Be the club. Go in. Oh, that was delightful. Tried to lose the towel this time as well. And you see, one thing that I really don't quite understand about golf balls like this, so we set the day off trying to look for some cheap golf balls in little of a brand that you've probably never heard before, unless you wanted a cacool or a tent. But I've ended up with Callaway golf balls for, albeit, the same price. So why are Callaway making these golf balls? Why do they make golf balls that aren't like everyday golf balls? Are they for foreign markets? Are they for different markets? Are they for your cheaper shops like Sports Direct to get people into golf? I mean, whatever they're for, if I can send one in like that and it's stopped there, I'll take it. And I most think a ball like this would be perfect for someone like Foxy, who he wants to play a big brand in golf. He wants to play a Callaway, a Titleist, a TaylorMade, but he doesn't want to pay £45 a dozen and lose them all. Um, 13 quid. Better get that pitch mark as well, actually. I'd go as far as saying that's even inside my circle. Brutally honest, so that threw one. And me and Dalton weren't playing a match, but we are now. <laughs> and I guess this is going to reopen the debate of how good do you have to be to use a Pro V1, a TP5, a Chrome Soft? Or should you just use whatever you can get your hands on? Birdie. Right, let's see if we can capitalise again. We even go with three wood this time. We've got to protect the score a little bit. 
So we're into the wind now a little bit, so I would be hoping for a slightly more penetrating ball flight than the one we got with the driver. I know we made birdie, but we can always ask for that little bit more. It's a nice enough shot, but it's not penetrating. It's up there again. Distance wise, it could be better as well, I think. But just over a pound a ball, so. If we make birdie again, does it matter? Remember, the same price as the Slazingers. What more do you want? So it might not be the distance we wanted, but realistically, we haven't got a long way into this par four again. And we did very well to avoid that divot. So in fairness, what started off looking like a bit of a down day and a waste of a day, like two hours I was out there eventually, by the time I got home, have we found a better budget golf ball, 133. Like a little nine iron there. With, ooh, pitching wedge actually. We've resorted back to the half set, which I'm quite happy about. Right, this, this distance needs to be perfect or there's no birdie coming. All about distance. Oh, it's online. It's very high again. Get up. I think that's just short. The strike, I'm not gonna lie, the strike was delightful. And feel wise, I think to be fair, as an Ionima cover goes, it feels okay, it feels fine. That's generally what you do pay for when you are buying expensive golf balls. You pay for that Elastoma cover, which is a little bit softer and a little bit more Launchy, if that's a word, that's a little bit short. Right, Dolan's just knocked it inside me there, so we're not gonna play a match anymore. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll leave that there, I think, at one up. As for stopping capabilities, yes, the course is wet, but that's, uh, it's not too bad. Fair enough, it is an upslope as well, but. Hey. Guys, how much would you spend for a Callaway golf ball? Go. Ah. Right, one under with one to go. With a one pound six P ish golf ball, I think. Dollar informs me it's about one pound eight each. I will put it on screen now, but one under par. I'm not gonna lie, I bogey the first, so we'll call it level, but for the video, one under par. And if you're wondering why I didn't film the first hole, you've got to have a hole, haven't you? After being in the car driving around searching little all day. <laughs> Should have bought that Kagool, I think, yeah. Now this is a hole where potentially that Ionima cover could cost us, because if a gust of wind gets up and there's water short and the ball goes down, then all of a sudden we're one pound about eight P down. I'm gonna try and fly it down a four. If, it can, if you can fly it down, then it's worth the money, isn't it? Essentially. Nice. It's on it if it's the club. Little four. Oh, tell you what, get me back to Sports Direct. I'll have the lot. 13 quid. <laughs> what, the shot? So I do feel like I've kind of snatched victory out of the jaws of defeat for today's video because there was a point where all I was seeing was bamboo tea pegs, an umbrella and a cagoule. So, oh, there was a bouncy castle as well. Um, but this is looking like, I mean, that's another... Get in! Dolly, I'd tell you we're playing a match again now. Oh, it won't be convenient, that Yeah, one. yeah, so I think I'm one up with this to, this to go, so look at that. I've got good memories on this, dude. One pound six P golf ball, pitching there with a four iron and finishing there. Good value, that. Oh, that was... Oh, no. Put a face went like that. <laughs> oh, that, honestly, these cheap balls are rubbish. <laughs> God, that was the worst put of it in a long time. So guys, there we go, one under par for three holes, not two under, terrible putt there on the last, but I'm taking it, obviously the putt wasn't the ball's fault, it was a nice shot into the green on probably one of the hardest holes on the golf course, realistically, 190 yards over water. So we didn't get the balls that we wanted to from Lidl, but thanks to the Golf Mates Forum, a couple of guys in there said you'll send some, so huge thanks for that. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel, guys, if you want to see those. Smash that subscribe button, apologies I couldn't get hold of them, but aside from driving 
a long way, um, it was never going to happen. So apart from that, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>